I had a really interesting phone call with a home seller uh, this morning and they have a property to sell um, that falls between the four and the $500,000 price range. There's not a lot available in their community, but what is in their community are properties for sale and nothing pending sale. So one of the biggest issues that we talked about was the need for specific, accurate pricing. And of course, they went through an entire laundry list of all of these upgrades and the word one of a kind was used. And one of a kind is trophy property. Um, the, you may have a lovely home, but one of a kind really is a unique property in a specific location or built very unusually. Um, so what we had to talk about was then buyer motivation and buyer's ability to purchase a property. And right now we're dealing with buyers that are shopping really hard. And I explained to them between the price range of 400 and 500, just to generalize, there were, I think, 31 properties for sale. I said buyers, literally, if they want to look in that price range, have 31 choices of properties and can start with Besides location, quality, um, there are some homes that are, are absolutely original and they're on a very expensive piece of land on a canal, all the way up to homes that are east of 75 in a brand new community out of the flood zones um, with the best and most current building codes. So these are things that we have to take into consideration when we're listing these homes is how are we going to fall in the spectrum of homes for sale with pricing and quality because America likes nice things and they do not like to do upgrades and they won't pay a premium for a property that requires upgrades unless it is really a one-of-a-kind property. So they explained to me their upgrades and they were upgrades when they were done but now it's different. You can't just because it's granite doesn't mean it's an upgrade necessarily. If it's granite from, you know, 30 years ago that is no longer current or a color palette of current design. So there's a lot of things that go into uh, pricing that property so that it, it is attractive. What we're looking at right now is about se almost 76% cash in uh, this Bonita Springs area, cash buyers. And just because they're cash does not mean they're going to overpay. And it also doesn't mean um, they're not going to shop really, really hard because the buyers with the cash know that they have leverage. So the key is specific quality pro product as well as pricing accurately. It's true in every market, but at this point you are competing against a lot of other buyers who would all like to sell and they are not going to pay a price that is somewhere down the road when they can negotiate a better price and leverage the market for themselves.